Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. This is the fourth video in my series on window sheets and I have to say I'm just having a blast with this. This card features an actual clear card base. So what I've done here is I've made my card out of the window sheet itself. I think you should give this a try because it is pretty spectacular. Let's get started and I'll show you how to do this. All right, let's take a look at our layers here. So I've got very vanilla that is three by four and a quarter, two of them. Chocolate chip that is three and an eighth by four and three eighths, two of them. Old olive that is four and five eighths by three and three eighths, two of them, a scrap of vanilla and a scrap of old olive, a window sheet that is five and a half by eight and a half, and a very vanilla envelope. Let's get started. I'm super excited about this one. We're going to take our window sheet and we're going to fold it in half just like you would fold in half a piece of cardstock. Now, it's not going to want to fold for you and you want to make sure you get it even. And you're going to take your bone folder and just give it a good crisp burnish on the edge. And there we have a perfect window sheet. That's just like a card. Next, I'm going to start my stamping. I'm going to bring in my paper piercing mat. And I just got this covered up with some typing weight paper. I like to stamp on this surface. And I'm going to bring in my stamps. Now, I'm using the Painted Harvest Bundle. So we've got the Painted Harvest Stamp Set and the Leaf Punch. When you buy these together, you save 10%. And if you haven't seen all the cards that I've made with this, you need to go check those out on my blog right here, astampabove.com, because they are amazing. Okay, I'm using four different colors of ink here. I've got Cajun Craze, Old Olive, Chocolate Chip, and Crushed Curry. And we're going to use the Chocolate Chip first. And I'm going to stamp my greeting, I am thankful for you. I'm going to stamp that right here. And then I'm bringing in the Everyday Label Punch. This is a beautiful punch, great image to put on any card. I have to show you. On page 12 in the mini catalog, we have this whole stamp set that all four of these images match the Everyday Label Punch. And this is called Merry Little Labels. This is a great little greeting set. And then we've got some more in here. Right here on page 45, we have, look, I got Cheetos on that one. <laughs> we've got another stamp set that matches this label punch called Labels to Love. So two great options. I've used this one, I love it. I can't wait to start making Christmas cards here too. And who doesn't need a little ho, ho, ho stamp, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna punch this out. Make sure I get my words straight here. And I think I want this to be, whoops. I want my greeting to be more at the top of the stamp. Isn't that pretty? And you're saying, Kelly, that looks a little funny. I got a little piece of Cheeto on that. If you guys don't know, I am hooked on these jalapeno or cheddar jalapeno Cheetos. If you like spicy stuff, these are amazing. I probably didn't need to tell you that because I've been eating too many of them. And now I'm just going to set this aside and I'm going to bring this back when I start stamping my flowers, which is uh, right now. This is one of these layers is for the inside of our card and one is for the front. So I'm going to start with the front and I've got my Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry. Ooh, look at all the scribbles in there. I must have re-inked this and didn't. When you re-ink, you scribble and add ink to your ink pad, and then you come in with a spoon. See how that smooths that out? This was one of my tip videos. Try not to get it all over your fingers like I just did. 
but you want to smooth it out with a spoon like this and then it'll stamp evenly and very nice. And when I do that, I just take a baby wipe, wipe my spoon off, put it back in my drawer and it's ready to use again. And then we try to clean up my fingers because they're usually a mess too. This is not Cheeto orange. I was just using orange ink a few minutes ago, so I just want you to know that. <laughs> Too much information? Maybe. Okay, so you've got two different flower images. This is a two-step stamping process. You've got a bigger flower and a smaller flower. The bigger flower is kind of the background and the smaller flower is the detail. I'm gonna take the bigger flower and we're gonna use crushed curry ink and we're gonna stamp that repeatedly. I'm gonna ink this back up and just stamp it again and again. I just want to have lots and lots of little flutters coming out from my flower. So I'm gonna do that several times here. And you don't have to get too worried about whether you're stamping exactly over the image that you just stamped. That's not the idea. We want the edges of our flowers to be very, very wispy. These are beautiful sunflowers. There we go. Looks kind of crazy, right? Now we're going to come in with Cajun Craze and the smaller image of the flower. And we're gonna stamp that right over. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? I learned this color combination from my friend, Missy Shipman, who shared it. And it is just beautiful. Okay, now remember this label? I'm gonna do the same thing to this label. So I'm gonna go into my crushed curry and I'm just gonna kinda do the edge here. And again, I'm going to make it real wispy by stamping it several different times. And then I'm going to come in with that crushed curry and stamp right over top. Oh, delicious. I love this. All right, now we're ready for the center. We're using the center of our flower. We're using chocolate chip ink. And I'm just going to stamp that a couple times because I kind of missed a little edge there. Do it a couple times to make it nice and dark. And then we're going to do it once over here too. Well, I mean twice, but only on one flower. Okay, and then there's these little dots in there and you want to put those in the center of your sunflowers. Isn't this just pretty? And you can stamp them more than once too if you want, if you don't get them right in the center. And I think I'm just gonna stamp a few of these little dots in my white space because, well, because I can. That's cute, love it. Let's do something pretty with the inside and I think I'm gonna do the same thing to the inside that I did to my label layer and I'm just gonna stamp right down here in the corner with one single flower. Oh, <laughs> this is delicious. I'm getting ink all over my fingers. And our little polka dots. Be so pretty you guys I am so excited last color is old olive this is our old olive scrap and I'm I've taken the, I've taken the detailed leaf stamp because this is also a two-step stamp process but we're only using it one stamp process way is that even a sentence or words I don't know I guess it's it's my video I can make up words right I am known to do that so we're gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna use here because I'm. this is the first time I'm making this card. I did not make a sample. Isn't that funny? I'm just getting really brave about this. You guys are giving me courage and I love that. Okay, here we go. It's now or never, people. 
All right. Did I tell you that this is the third, or, I'm sorry, this is the fourth video in a series? Okay, so now we're going to start putting our card together. And I'm just going to glue my layers together. And each one of these sets of colors, one goes on the front, one goes on the inside for our window sheet card. So I'm going to glue all of them together here. I think this is turning out to be a really fast and easy card too. And you know what? I just realized I forgot something. So I'll get that in a second. I'll have to put a note on the beginning of the video that I forgot something in the layers of cardstock that we're going to need. Okay, how beautiful is this? Like, whoa, very, very pretty. Hang tight, I'll be right back. I forgot to add two more layers. These are both three and three-eighths by four and five-eighths, which is the same size as the olive under all these layers. So I'm gonna show you why I need that. Okay, I'm gonna use my Fast Fuse and we're gonna run some fast views on this front piece. And I think I'm gonna just grab a piece of scrap cardstock. I'm just gonna grab a piece of old olive here so you can see what I'm doing because it's hard to see through window sheets. And I'm going to put this centered right on the front. And we're gonna do the inside piece. Glue doesn't really work as well for window sheets. That's why I'm using Fast Fuse. Oops, 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 come back. Don't stick your, ah, see how sticky this stuff is? It's like sticky strip, you guys. So um, it's great for making boxes and stuff like that. So here's what you're gonna do. I did that wrong anyways. You're gonna take this piece and you are going to line it up with your card front. Notice how I did that? I'm going to line it up with my card front and then you're going to close your card because that's going to be directly behind it. Now what about this ugliness? I do not like that ugliness. So here's what I decided to do and this is what I forgot is we are going to add a panel to the back to hide all that ugliness. You want to make sure that it's directly behind that front because you don't want it sticking out and looking all weird, right? And then what about this ugly back? I don't like that either. I'm pretty picky about making sure things are nice and neat inside and out. So we're just going to take this piece and we're going to add it directly over the back panel like that, okay? And now we need to finish this. Let's see, what am I going to do with this? I think I might put this right in the middle. Like I said, I didn't even make a sample of this card, so I have no clue what I'm doing here. I'm going to do this and this. I think I want that to be a little bit bigger. I'll use that little piece for something else. I want this to go all the way to the edge of my card just like that. So it's kind of hanging over the edges, right? And I'm going to take some fast views and run it right across the front of my card. And we're going to put this ribbon on here. And then I've got some dimensionals. And I'm going to add dimensionals, whoops, sorry, to the back of this piece. Why don't I get my mess cleaned up here a little bit? I know that I don't like to have a big mess going on. What are we going to do with these? Okay, I think I like that. I think that's what I'm going to do here. And to stick this on, I'm just going to put another dimensional on it because, well, I can. <laughs> and 
I'm going to kind of match this up with these blank spots here. And we're going to do another one right there. This is coming together really nice. Do you love, love, love this Painted Harvest stamp set? It's amazing. And have you guys seen the other cards that I put on my blog, www.stampabove.com? I've used blue flowers and I've used flirty flamingo flowers. Let's see, right here. There we go. I think I'm pretty happy with this. What do you guys think? There you go. This is just another way to use window sheets. You can make your whole card window sheets. And when I send this out, whoever I send this to, they are going to be so excited at how gorgeous this is and how unique it is to use a clear card. Before I forget, let's get our envelope stamped up too because this is going to be amazing when they open their mailbox and find this beautiful card in there. Maybe one more. There we go. And then... Our Cajun craze. I would have never thought to put these colors together, but they are absolutely stunning. And chocolate chip. And I'm just going to do it one more time. And then our little polka dots. Holy cow. Look, I just got ink on it. Oh, wow. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Window sheets. These are amazing. Again, this is the fourth video in a series that I'm doing on window sheets. So if you've missed the first three, hop on over to my blog. There'll be a link under the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. If You'll see a little thing that says see more. Click on that. It'll open up and it'll have a link in there to my blog where I'll show you this card. And then I'll have links to the other cards that I've made with window sheets. There is a ton of things you can do with window sheets and I just think they're so fun and it really catches people off guard when you have peekaboo windows and shaker cards and cards made out of acetate. Um, it's just super, super fun. All right, you guys, if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, please consider me. I would love to earn your business. You can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com. I would be happy to send you our current catalogs. Make sure when you um, send me that email, let me know, do you have the big catalog and you just need the holiday mini or do you need both? And also when you do that, lots of people email me and say, they say, Kelly, I'd love to have the catalogs, but then they don't give me their address. So <laughs> it's kind of cute, but it happens all the time. Something that I would do. Um, make sure you give me your address and let me know which catalogs you need. I'd be happy to send them to you. There's also ordering links right under this video where I will have the products listed. You can click right on it. It'll take you right to my Stampin' Up! store. I really appreciate all of your orders. It's been kind of a godsend. My husband is, um, he has officially retired. So um, my job as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator has become even more important. I really appreciate your orders. And I will send you a hand-stamped card as a thank you for your online order. You guys have an amazing rest of your week. Thanks for stamping with me. Bye-bye.